Hey there YouTube, Webcam9000. Today I wanted to give you a review of the final version of Snow Leopard. Many of you may know that I had the developer version for quite some time, um, and obviously I did a, a few um, videos on that, uh, just giving you a little taste of what was to come in the final version. But now we have the final version, and I would really like to give you a proper review of Snow Leopard. I'll give I'll be giving you my views at the end of what I think, and if I uh, think that you should go out and buy it if you haven't already. Okay, first thing I want to talk about uh, is um, spaces. When you change spaces uh, in Leopard, uh, you would see the traditional uh, sort of uh, little black box with the four uh, squ squares inside it. You'd see an arrow and then the white blob would obviously move, but you wouldn't see it move. They've changed that ever so slightly, as we can see here. Uh, it moves along with us, so... Anywhere we go, it goes as well, which is quite nice. But other than that, there is no real change to uh, changing around in spaces. Obviously, we've still got our sort of spaces like that. Um, uh, the if you when you hover over one, you know it's, it's exactly the same principle, really. Um, okay, so the first main difference uh, about Snow Leopard uh, compared to Leopard is the new expose feature. So. <clears throat> Here I have uh, my YouTube channel, obviously, you know, uh, it's me, that was the unboxing yesterday, so, uh, yeah. Um, now, traditionally, uh, in Leopard, if you were to um, hit the expose button, uh, it would um, pan everything out uh, onto one screen so you could see everything. But it was, it was a nice feature, you know, there was nothing really wrong with it, except that everything was sort of scattered about in different places. And occasionally you couldn't see things as clearly as you probably would have liked to have done. So they've definitely changed that here, and now everything spreads out equally, and you can see things individually. And of course, if you, still, if you can't see anything uh, clearly, then you just hover over it and press spacebar. And uh, it pops up so you can see like a full version. If you press spacebar again, it goes back, and you can do that with every single one. I've, I found something out when I was messing about with this. If you move your mouse over to the next one, you know, there's no need to even press spacebar to minimize one. It's quite a nice little feature. Um, if you uh, are in a space um, and you have expose, expose it, uh, if you uh, have a window minimized, it will appear down here. There is a faint line right about there, and your minimized window will appear here. You can do exactly the same thing there. You can go up and down like that. And then, of course, if you press it, it should it pops up uh, out. So that is quite a nice little touch. Um, and there you go, it spaces it out again. They're all equal distances in a sort of grid format, if you uh, if you will. Now I'd like to talk about uh, Doc Expose. So this is basically um, obviously exactly the same as Expose, but you can activate it via your dock. So if you hold down Safari, that now shows me both windows I have open. That is actually open in uh, space one. Uh, so it's showing you space, uh, showing you um, the application in any space. So it can be anywhere. Uh, if you have, you know, lots of spaces activated, it'll show you them from anywhere. Obviously, if you click it, then it will go straight to that window. Going back to Stock Expo Expose here. Um, obviously, you got that. Um, normally, a lot of people would just sort of give up and go back to you know that and uh, if they if they didn't you know if they didn't need to press it or if if they want to go to something else. So say I wanted to go from Safari then to the mail. You don't actually have to do that. As you can see there's like a little spotlight on mail. So if you go to the next one it sort of highlights Safari. So if I click Safari I then switch to the dock expo date of Safari and of course obviously find there. Um, which is quite nifty. Um, there you go. So, um, yeah, that is that.